Hi, this is Rashawn McDonald, and you're listening to Money Making Conversations. The great thing about Money Making Conversations, I have a lot of phone interviews, and today I have a live in studio. She's in studio right now. Uh, every, I'm going to tell you something about our relationship. Yes. Every week I post a banner about who the talent that is appearing on Money Making Conversations. My next guest wrote this about me in the comments section of one of those posts on my LinkedIn account. She said, you are worthy to be uplifted. The work that you are, that you are doing is amazing. Your words of encouragement kept me on my journey. I have an investor for the Feeling Friends app. Wake Forest Medicine, Wake Forest Medicine is my research partner. And I have created an educational kit that gives educators the tools to teach social emotional learning to preschoolers. Yes. Your encouragement and uplift kept me going years ago when I was ready to give up. Yes, indeed. And she's in the studio right now. Yes. Please welcome to Money Making Conversation, Karen Prithrell. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Those words mean the world to me. And they mean the world to me because I've been on this journey a long time. I've been on the journey a very long time. And I was laying in my bed one day, and um, the Holy Spirit said, um, contact Steve Harvey's business manager. I said, okay, and I did. And I contacted you, and you were on your journey, starting your new journey at the time. And I started Googling. You know how we Google folks? Mm-hmm. And I started Googling you, and I ran into a video that says, you got to push your brand. you got to push your brand, man. <laughs> and those words right there got me out of bed mm-hmm. and started me pushing the Feeling Friends brand once again because you get tired when you get so many rejections and people saying no and you just keep going. And that night I was tired, but that night I, I looked at that video and you said, you got to push your brand. you got to push your brand, man. I got up. And started pushing my brand. And years later, right now, I got an investor. We're doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing on my assignment. And this is awesome to really meet you at this time. So, you know, I'm excited. So, we're going to have a good time. Good. <laughs> well, let's talk about our relationship. How okay. I start because you started with me when I was doing money making conversation on my Facebook page. Correct. And it was something I was doing once. So, we just started. And I was just like, Correct. I would answer it. It was funny because, you know, on my Facebook page, it was like, she would respond, I respond back. So it was like they knew it was me communicating mm-hmm. because they asked a question, I respond back to their questions. Correct. And so this is more, what we're doing today, it's a more advanced version of what I was doing back on my Facebook page because now I can talk and interact. And, yeah. and also uh, I feel I'm, I'm, I'm providing a bigger service. Correct. So tell everybody exactly what, what you do and what is your company all about, your brand. My Let's brand, talk about your brand now. My brand. My brand is The Feeling Friends. And the Feeling Friends is a set of characters, 12 characters at this time, that give children the vocabulary to talk about their feelings. Social emotional learning is really huge now, Mm -hmm. very, very huge. Mm -hmm. I started this journey 24 years ago when social emotional learning, no one knew anything about. Mm -hmm. And in this journey, it felt like to me a Job journey where you're stripped of everything, but you stay on the journey. Mm -hmm. But my daughter told me it was more of a Noah journey Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. I was building an ark. Mm-hmm. That and when Noah built his ark, no one even knew of rain. I was building this ark, and that people eventually will come on board. And right now, I built this ark with these characters. And yes, people did call me crazy because I gave up everything to continue to build this ark. So the feeling friends are these wonderful characters that give children the vocabulary to talk about their feelings. Mm-hmm. When my daughter was um, six, she was diagnosed with depression. Okay, and there were no tools. six years old. Six years old. Wow. There were no tools on the market to help her, and the psychologist said you got to get her to talk about her feelings and so I went out there to try to buy something there was nothing there and so what I realized I had taught her all the words that a preschooler should know and a kindergarten should know but there were no feelings words on there Mm -hmm. so I knew she liked music I knew she liked dance I knew she liked songs so I created these characters that gave her a way of talking to me about her feelings right like lot of love the loveru billy the billy bully Mm -hmm. goat Mm -hmm. hattie the happy hippo wesley the lonely whale slumpy the sad elephant so when she would come to me and she says, I'm feeling like Wesley, I knew she was lonely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so it gave her the vocabulary. So it's almost like the first time I went to France, I couldn't speak the language. It was very difficult for me. Mm-hmm. So I gave my daughter the language to speak to me to tell me about her feelings. Mm-hmm. Cool. But let's, let's talk about this. Uh, six years old. Six years old. And your daughter's diagnosed depression. But, yes. Okay. Because that feels like an adult. Yes. World. Mm-hmm. And so I, I want to want to slow people down because okay. we tend to categorize Different layers, you know, people, only a certain type of people commit suicide, only a certain type of people do drugs, only mm-hmm. certain people have anxiety attacks. Mm-hmm. It's six years old. Six years old. And the day with social media being what it is, mm-hmm. information being processed so quickly by young people, mm-hmm. that's even a bigger a bigger leap for young people to start emotionally starting to deal with all these issues. It is. It is. And if you don't have the right tools to deal with those issues, um, we were very fortunate. Her godmother 
Kathy Jane Field, y'all, was a school psychologist. Right. Mm-hmm. And we saw it the first year. We really did see it the first year. My daughter didn't smile her entire first year. Were you in denial? Um, just didn't want to deal with it. Yes. You know, you hope something mm-hmm. else is going to mm-hmm. come along. Mm-hmm. And um, I have to really look back at me. I was depressed when I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. So when they say things, you sing songs to your children, and mm-hmm. you know, because what is going to happen is going to happen. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. I believe that. So mm-hmm. I believe the depression started with me, mm-hmm. and I transferred it to my daughter. But at six, Kathy Jane said, we've got to do something now. Mm-hmm. We've mm-hmm. got to do something now. But as I said, there were no tools to help her. Right. And going, when she went to psych, psychiatrist, um, psychologist, and the breakthrough was the feeling friends, because she says now the feeling friends were the light to her emotional darkness. Because so they gave how do you words. introduce your product to, 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 to parents or to school systems, to mm-hmm. daycare centers? How mm-hmm. do, how's that introduction made? We just can before we just had the um, animals, the big stuffed animals. The children love those. Mm-hmm. But now we're going to have this wonderful kit. And in this kit, it'll have the teacher's guide. Mm-hmm. And we wrote the teacher's guide. I asked um, my educational pre-K guru, Michelle, let's write this feeling friends for dummies. Because we wanted to make it so that parents could get the same by someone like me mm-hmm. who had a child that was suffering from an anxiety or depression mm-hmm. or just wanted to teach their children about feelings. It wouldn't be so engrossed in educational stuff mm-hmm. that they would be able to do it, too. So we have this teacher's guide and we have these puppets and we have the coolest music you've ever heard in your entire <laughs> life. It is just so. And the music reinforces the characters. And so mm-hmm. the characters, we have posters, it's everything in there to give a teacher or a parent what they need to start the the con- discussions about feelings. Let's talk. Let's back up a little bit. Would you, you know, when you made a statement that people thought you were crazy? Yeah. When you talk walking around with these little dolls and yeah. Cause people talk, thought I was crazy when I left IBM to mm-hmm. tell <laughs> jokes. So mm-hmm. go, okay, you gonna tell jokes? Huh? And I couldn't tell them. I couldn't tell them where I was gonna tell jokes or how technically how I was gonna make money. I just knew this is what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So here you are. Because that's, that's a small, it's, it's your core group believe in you. They love you. Yeah. But they really don't understand this. Don't understand They don't it. understand this. And I want people to hear, how were you able to go past that or go, you know, because really it's on you. It is. And sometimes even on you, there's doubt. Because mm-hmm. there was doubt on me. Even yeah. though I left IBM, even though I knew this is what I wanted to do, there was still 10% of me going, I hope this is the right mm-hmm. decision. Mm-hmm. How do you get past that? From your standpoint? From my standpoint, I got past it because um, all the stories. I was sitting down one night and I said, Lord, if you want me to do this, then I need to write some stories. Mm -hmm. And I started at 9 o'clock that night. And at 9 o'clock the next morning, I had written 10 children's stories. And so I knew that could not be me. Mm -hmm. And they were great. I sent them to my daughter to read at the age. She said, Mom, who wrote these? I said, I did. Mm -hmm. And she said, when did you write them? I said, last night. She said, no, when did you write them? I said, all last night. (laughs) And she couldn't believe it. She said, these are really, really great stories Mm -hmm. for children. I knew I was on a God assignment at that Mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. And so I could not give up on a God assignment. Mm -hmm. I just could not. I could not. So no matter how bad it got, I just could not give them because I knew I was in my purpose. I knew I saw the way children reacted to me. If you got me with a group of children, I'm like the Mary Poppins of children. Mm-hmm. Children just love me. They you have just, the umbrella? Though? Yeah, I don't have the umbrella. <laughs> I got some feeling friends. <laughs> I got some feeling. But children absolutely adore me. It's like a magical spirit. Mm-hmm. And I think it's well, because. Well, you got the energy. I you do. You got the energy. I do. And you came into my booth. You know, we, <laughs> I'm going to use on fire. You can use it like a, like a I'm inch here. off that ground. I'm, I'm here. here. I'm here. I'm here. I made it. I made it. I mean, and that, that's a beautiful. It came in with your two stuffed animals uh-huh. here. And so with that being said. You're winning. Yes, You're winning, and then you, you got to keep winning. And so the thing that always, when I when I started money making conversation, that's why I read that quote because those quotes keep me going. Yeah, because I, it's just a vision. It's just mm-hmm. a dream. It's just the, the uh, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing affecting change. Yes, you know, you know yes. what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And and so when I, I had to say that because it did when I read it, I I couldn't believe it because the fact that I'm not in it for uh, uh for self gratification. Right. I'm in it because of the fact that God has given me a unique life, mm-hmm. a unique talent to be able to communicate. And I've chosen this path to communicate and it's for free. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, and when people listen to me, I just try to be consistent with them. Mm-hmm. That's my whole thing. Yeah. Is that I want people to understand that Rashawn McDonald's not going to change. Mm-hmm. Now, you can you can try to 
you can try to do it a little bit different from me, mm-hmm. but you're going to eventually come back over to me mm-hmm. because you got to get up out of bed. Yeah. You got to you can't be married to that bed. Mm-hmm. And you got to realize there are 24 hours in that day. Mm-hmm. You have to learn to utilize every hour to your path to success. That's why you said you wrote those wrote those three stories overnight. Mm-hmm. See, it wasn't about sleeping. Mm-mm. You was entrapped into your vision. Yes. And you developed it. And that was the first step of you moving forward in your life. It was. It was. It made me go because I was spending up money. I used up all my. Um, my divorce money, my retirement. I was spending money doing this because God said, Karen, um, I said, don't you think I need to go back to work because I was laid off? Don't you think I need to go back to work? He said, nope, I need you to create because when this hits, Mm -hmm. you're not going to have time to create. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason I have 52 stories already done. Mm -hmm. And I'm still creating in my head, but my investor said, stop, Karen. Let's market these. Let's get these out there. Let's make some money on these. Mm -hmm. And so I have the most wonderful investors. And it's just when you're in that, when you're in that role and you're in your vision, you don't sleep. Mm-hmm. You really don't sleep because it's always what do I need to do to make this happen? And things just happen. Mm-hmm. Now, let's talk. We're going to talk about it in more detail about the investment. Uh-huh. Part because that oh, was because yeah. you sent me a LinkedIn message about the limited amount of African-American women. Yes. Who get into these conversations yes. about being able to get capital investors in their vision That's and into right. their dreams. So mm-hmm. right now, where is the state of your, your company right now? Right now, we are in production for our first kits. Mm-hmm. We're in a production for our first kits, um, and those will be delivered in the end of August, mm-hmm. and we'll be able to go out and sell those. I'm going to become a door-to-door salesman mm-hmm. with a little internet, mm-hmm. and I'm going to sell those kits so we can just grow the company, grow the revenue, so we can then go out and get the app, make the app that we want to go. So we want the teachers to do it in school, mm-hmm. and want the parents to have an educational app at home where they'll have the music and all that kind of stuff to follow up so we have make children that are emotionally stronger. Now, with that being said, mm-hmm. okay, Amway did it, does Mm -hmm. it. Tupperware does it. Mm -hmm. You know, Mary Kay does it. So your model is not a bad model. Not at all. No. So you're (laughs) not, you know, you're not, you're not about that. Has it ever been done before? No. No. (laughs) It's done on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And so with that being said, that's a pathway that you want to win with by controlling your model. And also you're still at the forefront of learning about how to sell your model. Correct. Correct. And And that, it's interesting you say that because I have retired educators who I'm just asking, you know, do you need something to do part-time? And they said, well, yeah. I said, well, what about going out and becoming um, Feeling Friends distributors? And they're, they're saying, let's talk about it, Karen. Let's talk about it because they know the product. They understand the product. Mm-hmm. They believe in the product. So it is an Amway model. It is a cool. Tupperware model. Yeah, we're there. Okay, we're on we the phone. We're not on the phone. I'm on the I'm so talking to people on the phone. <laughs> then studio. I'm real close. Studio. You're real close. You're <laughs> hyping. And the, the, great, we'll be right back with more. Uh, feeling friends the feeling friends and um, learn more but the main thing here is that I want to thank you for coming in studio oh, and we'll could- be back with more to find out about the investment part the okay. branding part money okay. making conversations I'm back on the air feeling friends she got her, her little animals out here this is let's explain to me exactly if you're if you're on a, a Facebook page you can okay. see these lovely animals okay <laughs> social emotional learning what exactly is that it sounds, social emotional because I've never heard that term. Okay, is 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 that is that a, a phrase you coined? No, okay, okay. no, Tell us no, about no. That. Social emotional learning. What they're finding, Daniel Goldman back in the nineties found that social emotional learning. It's how being able to identify, express, and manage my feelings, and you being able to identify, express, and manage your feelings. Me seeing how you feel, being able to identify how you feel, and you being able to identify how I feel. So we can live in this world. So we can live in this world together. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk I'm, to you. I'm, just, I'm gonna have to point to this mic. Hey, Rashawn, my hey, 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 Everybody gotta go. What can we do? Can we just strap the microphone on her nose? That would be right. If we strap it on her nose, <laughs> we we keep it in front of her mouth. Now, so explain to everybody because it kind of like faded okay. away. Okay. Okay. Social emotional learning is about how I feel, how I'm able to identify, express, and manage my feelings. Right. And you being able to identify, express, and manage your feelings because we live in this world together. I should be with social emotional learning. I should be able to see how you feel and react to how you feel. Mm-hmm. And you should be able to see how I feel and be able to react to how, how I feel. Mm-hmm. We should be kind, caring. It's those things that we were taught at a very, very young age, be nice, be da-da, all that kind of right. stuff. But we left off that feeling part mm-hmm. and being able to identify how we feel. Because you know as well as I know, our age, nobody let us tell, told us we could express how we feel. Right. You better sit down and be quiet. And, right. and that's the way it was. Yeah. But now they're finding that 
social emotional learning is and that's called EQ emotional intelligence is just as important as IQ. Mm-hmm. And because if you do not know how to express how you feel and to manage your feelings, it's very difficult to learn. Well, definitely very difficult to associate yourself in life, with everyday life. life yes, you know, everyday life. You know, being polite. Yes. You know, and things like that because of the fact. That's why I was just talking about with, with, with social media, mm-hmm. with, uh, with uh, your whole life tied to your phone, mm-hmm. that, uh, that you can really just stay in your room. And be captivated by what's in your hand. And not be able to communicate. Right. And not be able to communicate. And we still have to communicate. We were just in Starbucks downstairs. And so my partners were there. And they were having difficulty communicating to the Starbucks barista what they wanted. And they were getting frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> behind the counter. I'm watching all this. They were getting frustrated. And um, my folks were getting frustrated. Mm-hmm. But they knew to manage their emotions. And mm-hmm. they just stepped up and managed theirs so not to frustrate. So no one just had a fit in Starbucks. Right, right, and right. And that's right. what it is. got to learn Starbucks got no problem. <laughs> they don't need you going out there with, oh, with, 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 with the feeling friends oh, and having a, we would having a riot out there. We would there. tell them. The Starbucks should have called the feeling friends when all that mess was going on. We could have come in and told them they could take some lessons from the feeling friends. Pull out, you. out your little dummies. Yeah, my puppies. Feeling friends. Love is joyful. Love is peaceful. Love is good. Love makes you laugh. Love makes me laugh. Love makes me smile. Love makes me sing and dance for a while. Love brings me peace down in my soul true love really makes me whole this is a lot of love and she's the foundation of feeling friends Mm -hmm. we teach that love is the most important feeling now if folks in their jobs realize that love was the most important feelings and could make their way back to love we wouldn't have all these problems that we have today you know uh, i'm a big musical fan yes I felt I was watching Oklahoma. Listen to Oklahoma right there. I'm serious. I mean, love makes me smile. Love makes me happy. Here we are. You know what I'm saying? You know anybody was, on Broadway? I was, I was Let's get like, it. I was like, am I watching? Am I listening to Oklahoma? What are your Broadway connections? We got the Feeling Friends show. You really were serious about that Mary Poppins yeah. song. Somebody can throw your behind off the building with an umbrella. We see how fast you drop. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Oh, yeah, we can do it. We I can do that. it. And but children you, love but that, you know, too. But you know what, Jason? That's, I, I, that's so natural. Natural. Yeah. That's very. I mean, see, I, I'm, I'm I'm a child of the '60s, mm-hmm. and so musicals like that, Robert Preston and yes. all those guys. Get I, me excited. I I I, I, I grew oh, up on the same thing. I grew up Oklahoma. with Oklahoma. There yes. you go. I grew up with that. So so with that being said, how does okay? You you said you put together these kits. Mm-hmm. Okay, tell us what exactly is contained in that kit. Okay, it's it's the most magical kit. Once again, it is the. Teacher's God, because yeah. teachers have to know how to use it. Mm-hmm. It's these 12 puppets like this. This is a lot of love. And this is Billy the bully goat right Billy's here. Billy's yellow with Billy's his red yellow tongue. With mm-hmm. his young, he's a bully. Mm-hmm. But in the story, Bull, Billy comes to redemption because he realizes that a lot of love is around. And she takes him around and the island. She's not going to change. She's not going to change. Mm-hmm. And so Billy, Lotta takes Billy around the island. And all the feeling friends tell Billy Bully how they feel when he bullies them. Wow. And Billy comes to redemption. He says, I can't do this anymore. Right. Life was that easy. I can't do that anymore. But if, for us, no child wants to be bully, bully. Right. No right. child. And so we so really. At a very early age. Yes. The whole principle of being a bully, you're trying to wash it away. Wash it away. Mm-hmm. Correct. And so with that, and we are washing away because nobody wants to be Billy, bully. Mm-hmm. We have a character. I don't have her today, but she is Winifred the Worthy Walrus. Winifred, you know, Walrus is not that beautiful. No. And um, Winifred isn't that beautiful, but her parents teach her that it's the L-O-V-E that lives inside of her. Mm-hmm. And Winifred was really birthed out of me when Whitney Houston died. Mm-hmm. And I heard um, Kevin Costner say, Whitney used to ask, am I beautiful? Am I smart? You know, those kind of things. Mm-hmm. So she didn't even have that self-worthiness. So Winifred was birthed out of that. And she says, the L-O-V-E that lives inside of me makes me worthy. We have so many children and adults Mm -hmm. not feeling their worth Mm -hmm. and when you walk around feeling unworthy you do not become the person that you're destined to be Mm -hmm. and so once we build up your own worthiness and your self-esteem you can go out there and do what you need to do become the person that you need to be and fulfill your real life's purpose so how does one get in touch with you oh they can because you motivate me me. i would just tell you something you got something you're magical your personality is perfect for the passion that you're trying to get to 
Everybody. Mm-hmm. And I love the fact that it's starting with the youth. I always say, uh, catch them early. A blank slate. You yeah. catch them early and hopefully they, they get it right. Mm-hmm. You know, because what you get in a child's brain at that early nurturing you stage, that blank slate you stage, got it. that can carry it to a better human being when they become an adult. Mm-hmm. So, how do we get in touch with you? Well, you can reach me, Karen, at thefeelingfriends.com. Mm-hmm. I answer my emails. I usually answer them at two o'clock in the morning because <laughs> <laughs> that's my email answering time. Mm-hmm. Karen at thefeelingfriends.com. We're redoing our website. Site, but you can go to thefeelingfriends.com, www.thefeelingfriends.com. You'll go today and they'll say if you want to contact me because we're redoing it, you can contact me that way. Mm. Or you can just call me, 240-501-2620. It's going to go to voicemail, but I'll get you later. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, I know we're short on time. Uh-huh. Tell everybody how you was able to get an investor. Engage into your product. Oh, it's about the ecosystem in Winston-Salem. You have to develop relationships with people. Mm -hmm. Relationships. So I started off at the Small Business Center in Mm Winston-Salem. And then I um, came in second place at another um, project in Winston-Salem, Creative Startups, Mm because we do this creative business. Mm -hmm. And then I went out and I met this woman named Karen Barnes from Venture Cafe. Mm -hmm. And I told Karen what my needs were. And Karen introduced me to Steve Leinberger Mm -hmm. at Winston Starts, which Mm -hmm. is an ecosystem there. And uh, one of our citizens, Winston-Salem, Don Flo, bought a 15, 16 story building and he developed he gave two what 34,000 square feet to entrepreneurs oh, okay. and so they started a program and I got in that program mm-hmm. and from there Karen Barnes also introduced me to my mentors and my investors so this is a, your relationship relationship what, building it keeps getting bigger and bigger bigger and bigger and you mm-hmm. build those relationships and build solid relationships and my three investors um, they have their own company Once Logic, and they saw and believed in what I was doing mm-hmm. they saw and believed in, and it was hard to get investors because as we were talking about um, 2% of 1% of African-American female ever get venture capital. And the mm-hmm. average raise is $36,000. Mm-hmm. And they thought that was horrible. And so they said, we're going to give you a chance. We believe in you. And they are amazing men. They believe in you. They believe in I'm me. I'm going to tell you something. Did you start singing? Oh, I did. Of course. They I did. And I start crying too now. Well, Let's get it right. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's the, been a long the, journey. The, the, the singing got me. <laughs> the singing crying, got you. I got to write a check. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're changing you change. lives. You're changing lives. Though. We That's are what changing I love about lives. That. And, I love about this project. And know there's two things about me. Okay. You know me. I, I need to stay in touch with you when, yes, you, when you go door to door. Let's yes, get indeedy. those banners together. Okay. Let's get that branding together okay. so we can go out as a unit. Okay. Thank you. Because that's important because yes. people because it's about relationships and we've had a relationship that that's why it's so exciting to see somebody who who respected my vision I when did. I was just on my Facebook page Saved me. and you carried this journey to you sitting in the studio with me now Saved me. talking about now thank you for saying that I saved you mm-hmm. because I I just was I'm just being Rashawn and I love it. Thank you. I love it. And I just want to let you know that you keep winning. Thank you. And, and keep building, and uh, we're going to take some pictures. We're going to okay. post these lovely pictures on social media. Awesome. Get you by studio. And um, tell your investors they made the right move. I 